In 1999, Monica Helms was a member of Binet USA. At a meeting, Michael Page, the creator of the bisexual pride flag, suggested that the transgender community also needed a flag. He said to keep it simple. One morning, Monica woke up and the pattern came to her. She got up and drew it out, instantly loving the pattern. She contacted the same company that made the bisexual flag and they sent her some swatches. She picked the colors and two weeks later she received the first transgender pride flag. In September of that year, the local magazine Echo did the first article about the trans flag. Monica showed it to the rest of the community to see what they thought. In April of 2000, Monica took the flag to the Phoenix Pride and marched in the color guard. Over the years, Monica took the flag everywhere and its popularity began to pick up. She took it to marches and to protests, to pride parades. to conferences and lobby days. And to the Transgender Day of Remembrance and many other places. The flag became popular all over the country. and in various locations all over the world. The flag and colors are being used for all kinds of purposes. In August of 2014, Monica donated the original flag to the Smithsonian. In June of 2016, the original flag was on display at the White House. If we're lucky, we may one day see the flag in the International Space Station.